Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We are moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from Venerable Lambeau Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Clear skies, but pretty chilly. That's the situation in Green Bay, Coach. Actually had a dusting of an autumn snow last night, but that's gone, and we are set for football at Lambeau Field. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay, and this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers. They're halfway home, looking good at a perfect 8-0. And not much to complain about so far, is there? I'd have to say they're the best team in the NFL through the first half of the year. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's a second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got Rome. And they'll get this well of appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the timing on point? The run even better. Throwing left 63 yards. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what the goal is when your division. Number three goal and the biggest goal. Like Rush coming and he's taken down. For the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some speed. The first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And because of that, go back and run the offense you believe will be successful find your playmakers and give them the football. Off the bootleg. Brown. And he finds a man with a crossing round. 14 yards. Good for a Packer first down. Now Brown on first down. Throwing for his running back and he's got it complete. May come your way. They'll run on first down. Jeter. Here's Brown to throw on second down. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field. And at three and out, second possession. Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And he is going to go down. They sack him. Oh, the final. Back to throw. And this is caught. A spectacular. Maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? 
How much of it is the glove? It is glove. He'll try and throw for it here. That's to his running back, complete. Executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Now a toss left. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it, escaping the pressure right. And it's second and ten. He finds his man, Judge. From the red zone now, they look to throw. And this will be incomplete. It's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season as they are now on the board here in the first half. And Brad, I think we have to look back at the big call to go for it on fourth down. Yeah, that set up everything. And then tomorrow night, we've got the Seahawks and the Niners from Levi. Brown throwing again on second and ten. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Take your shot right here. And he'll give it here to his running back. Second and nine now. Johnson's got it complete. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Five. And to give this time to the tailback. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Panthers. 7 0 lead in there is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for this. Here's second and eight. Now he'll dump it underneath to his runnings in a Green Bay Packer first down. Looking to throw. Brown. He'll find Metcalf. That throw good for four. It's second down. Wide open receiver complete. And the ball is knocked out. And they are going to get this one back, it looks like. So nearly like for like fumbles. Spike. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is caught. Oh, what a catch at the five-yard line. Let's go, baby. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking You're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Get out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And the catch made by Johnson. Second and two. That one complete to Anderson. And he three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 53. And this one is right down the middle. The one-two to the solar plexus on that one. The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Let's go! Let's go so we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on. Our game has been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team. A Brandon presented to him, and if he's smart, he'll set the game ball and say, "Here's a second and seven. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. What's that? Series to series, play to play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him. How about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. He'll set up a throw. And that gonna be incomplete. They'll set up the throw. And that will be incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Brown. And it's a short one here. Complete. Back to throw. Brown into the hands. Brown now operating from the gun. He's complete. It's Johnson. On first down. Jeter. Well. Now Brown looking to throw on second down. And yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out. Maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool them. And the Panthers will get the football back. 10 at their own 46. They will. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Polluting the pressure right. And that'll rise, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? They're going to look to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 12-yard line. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Here's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You're taking charge. They run a draw here. On third down, he'll drop the throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Looking especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You say... Here's Brown, throwing on first down. Quick hitter here. Second and five. Throwing the out route. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just runs them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. Now successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw. Brown. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game. They were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. This is going to be fun. to kick that one through. I don't know about that. Toe match. I don't know about that. Toe match. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> and from 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. One like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. And a good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> can stop this. They got full momentum going. The quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now it's probably a, a silent battle. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
Picked off here, the 32. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Now, remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. Yeah. They'll run on first down. Jeter. And an alley to run. The 40. The 30. The 20. 10. 5. It's a big play there for Green Bay. In the beginning. Back to throw. Brown. Feeling the pressure here taken down a sack back at the seven to the line and get him set looking to throw brown brown gonna throw on third and goal and he's gonna go down again and here just just playing for pride at this point down big but they'll go for it on fourth and goal so this one is over a victory for carolina and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah think about the team that just got vanquished they did score in the second quarter do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game no i but what a second half the adjustment whatever they did in the locker room it certainly worked it certainly did and you're exactly right whether it was an adjustment whether there's just more focus on what they plan to do going in, whether they just played better. Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Panthers, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 and now to start this campaign, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Green Bay...